Steve, just catching up with you and, and what goes on in the Isle of Man as far as film business goes. Because I don't think a lot, obviously, everyone knows what is involved with you and the government and how films are made. Well, um, NX, Cinema NX, basically invests the Media Development Fund on behalf of the Isle of Man government. Um, the fund is there and we effectively act as the investment managers, I suppose. Uh, but that really means that we produce the films or we executive produce the films more normally. Um, you know, basically take a very hands-on role, making sure that they come in, making sure that they're made on time to budget, making sure that everything gets looked after properly. Um, and just attracting film to the Isle of Man is what, is, you know, is what we do. And this is with public money, isn't it? Yeah, it's with, um, it, you know, it's with public money, but it's you know, money that's been made by us on behalf of the public. I, you know, people keep saying to me, ah, you know, the taxpayer's money going into film? Show me one taxpayer that's put any money into film. They haven't, because you know, we started out uh, you know, in the early days, there was, um, there was a grant given every year to put into film. Um, I think that lasted for about three years. Um, after that, it's been self-financing. So, yeah, it is public money in theory, of course, um, but it's money that's been generated, self-generated by the film industry on the Isle of Man. So we've been completely self-funding. Well, you had a high-profile movie recently, and this gives us always the excuse to, sh to run our Zac Efron pictures at this point. Uh, you know, mass hysteria, the gaiety, yeah. so on and so um, An interesting film. You certainly gave it the red carpet treatment. Would it be fair to say it didn't quite hit the mark in the end? Hit the mark in what respect? You know, it's... You've got, you know, if you, if you measure it by box office, um, we were clearly disappointed. If you measure it by DVD sales, we're absolutely ecstatic. Um, if you measure it by the profile it gave to the Isle of Man, we're absolutely ecstatic. You know, to get Zac Efron uh, to the Isle of Man for a month in the middle of February, in the middle of winter, um, it's pretty good going, I would say. Um, you know, it's a, it's a movie we, we pulled out of New York um, to do on the Isle of Man and to do um, in the UK. So, you know, we're, we're really proud of that film. And, you know, it's, it's given us great credentials to do other things. Well, we've got one underway at the moment. Let's that, please. Ashes is here. Um, I think Ashes must be our 97th, 98th film, something like that. You know, we're, we're losing count, but we're getting pretty close to the ton. Yeah, it's, um, you know, it's Jim Sturgis, um, you know, well-known uh, for 21 across the universe. Uh, Ray Winston, who, of course, everybody knows, um, you know, a really, really, really high-profile movie star in the UK. Leslie Manville, of course. Uh, I'm not going to tell you anything about the plot because I get told off when I do that. Uh, at least I get told off sometimes when I do that. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're here. It's a modern film noir. Uh, we looked at six minutes the other day. You know, Douglas back alleys um, in the pouring rain have never looked so beautiful. That I can tell you. Um, but yeah, it's just, you know, Ashes, it's, it's just a, you know, it's a very, very nice project. It's a project that we're really proud to be associated with. You know, getting the likes of Jim Sturgis, Leslie Manville, Ray Winston to the Isle of Man. Again, at this sort of time, you know, to bring them here in March, April, before the season gets going, it means so much more in terms of the economic benefit that that brings to the island. Um, and, you know, again, the interest in that film is pretty strong. Well, a few years ago, we were almost falling over film crews, it appeared. Suddenly, it, you know, with the tax structures in the UK, whatever, changing, not quite so much action these days. Is that the, the case? Yeah, it's true. You know, numbers have gone down. But then, you know, I'll make the point that, uh, you know, you don't win any prizes for making the most. Uh, but if you look at the, at the same time when the numbers have gone down, I would say that the quality has definitely gone up. So we're looking for a different type of film. And the economic conditions out there, yeah, you know, you've got, you know, it's a very tough marketplace still. You've got, you know, very little debt now, where debt used to be a, a, big, um, a big part of a film's financing. Um, the equity market has completely collapsed in terms of private investors coming into film. The tax structures, you know, they've completely gone away. Do you know, the only thing that's the same as it was five or six years ago is the fact that the Isle of Man is still investing in film. Um, and, you know, here we are. We are effectively the last men standing as independent financiers in Britain. And people don't recognise that. Um, through all of the, you know, through all of the changes, through everything going, everything changing, everything being chopped, everything being cut, you know, we're still here and we're still making films. OK, not in the same numbers as we used to, but we're still here, we're still doing it, and we're still doing it very successfully. I mean, being the exec producer, you sit there with the money, but you also obviously look at these scripts and decide which ones presumably will presumably make the, the chance of making money anyway. It doesn't always work there, does it? No, it's a team. You know, the, the, it, I, you know I, I do read the scripts, of course, uh, but you know, it's not just me. There, you know, there's a team of people who read the scripts. There's a team of people who evaluate projects. And you know, at the end of the day, it comes down to a whole combination of things. Is the script strong enough? Um, are the people strong enough? Are the elements strong enough? Are the crews experienced enough? You know, um, is the talent, you know, commensurate with the project? 
Um, is the financing in place? What do the other financiers want? You know, it's, it's, a, it's a massive melting pot. Of, it's not just about, you know, we can all pick a great script, but then try and get it made. That's, that's, that's the trick. Um, and, you know, we do get them made. I suppose one of the criticisms has been that the infrastructure here using Manx people for jobs, but um, obviously, as you say, there's been less films anyway. Has that caused problems? Not really, I don't think. You know, we, you know there's a rule that you have to spend 20% of the blow-the-line budget with Isle of Man people, Isle of Man companies. Um, we always go above the 20%. Um, so it's, it's not really an issue. We can't put everybody, on, you know, everybody who wants to work on the film, they can't work on everyone, and that causes some tensions from, that, you know, from time to time. But, you know, by and large, we go out there, we crew up. There's a very willing crew. There's a very experienced crew in the Isle of Man now. You know, the 90-odd films that we've done. Um, so there's people out there, you know, when we started 1995, you know, tr you tried to crew up and you're crewing up with people who, like me, had never done it before. Um, you know, 90 odd films later, people have got a fair idea what it's all about and we can now provide some really good crew. The film studios in Ramsey, the for sale signs up there, isn't it? I believe so. Um, but again, completely private enterprise. Um, you know, the guys who have the studio want to sell, they want to move on, uh, which is fine. Um, you, know, the, you know, somebody will move in there, I'm sure. Uh, and continue to, to keep it going. In the meantime, if I want to make a film there tomorrow, there's nothing to stop me. Um, you know, the studios are still there and they're still open for business. And in fact, we were showing people around there this morning. Finally, where do you think we'll be in the next few years? Do you think this will be the mini Hollywood as originally thought or not? Uh, I don't know who thought it was going to be the mini Hollywood. I, didn't, I never said that. Um, it, you know, what, in a few years' time, um, you know, we will have, you know, we'll have matured some more. Uh, I still believe we'll be here. We'll be still making film. Uh, we might be doing it in a different guise. You know, there might be you know, there might be some exciting developments. Uh, we might get that you know we might get that you know much vaunted blockbuster. Who knows? Um, I'm really bothered about today. I'm really bothered about the next six months, the next year. Bringing films to the Isle of Man, bringing decent films to the Isle of Man, keeping the Isle of Man name, keeping the Isle of Man flag flying. Um, that's what we do. That's what we're good at. That's what we've done for the last 15 years. Um, you know, I'm not going to look forward to the next 15. I just look forward to the next six months, really.